Hello everyone, this is Gwydion with a short review of Mini Dungeon Tomb by AEW Games. This is for the 5th uh, edition, and many of you who know me know that I, I am a fan of, of these mini dungeons. I run them quite a bit since I don't really have time to do a, a lengthy campaign. I tend to run one-shots, so I find these. And a lot of these have been around for a while, but the Mini Dungeon Tome just came out, which includes over 130 adventures. Um, the only real negative I've had about these before is I felt like the value for about $2.99 each, which is what I've seen them for, at least for the module on Fantasy Grounds. Uh, even though you can get the uh, PDF usually for $0.99, cents, it just it seems a little high for the value when you can get some more robust adventures for around the same price. But now, for now, if you look at it, and you can see I own it. $39.99 for $130. If you do the math, it's about $0.30 cents an adventure. Even if you say you don't like a lot of these, call it $0.50, cents, $0.75, cents, still a pretty darn good value for about probably two to four hours per adventure. adventure excuse me. So from a, certainly from a price standpoint, really good. The other thing that I'm really excited about and I want to show you is it looks like Justin Andrew Mason has done the revision of all these maps. Because a lot of the adventures, and I've already have them, I have many of them, like Hobgoblin Lair, uh, Buried Council Chambers, Sepulchre of the Witching Hour Sage, and I'm going to show you what the maps used to look like and what they look like now. So just for a minute, let me close these, and I want to show you the original Hobgoblin Lair map. This is one of the first adventures I ever ran as a, as a DM on Fantasy Grounds. Very basic, no detail. You can see even over here, there's kind of a little swirly vortex in that room. But otherwise, you know, you can see some locks on the door, but there's nothing else. Now, under the new version, if you buy the mini dungeon tomb, this is what it looks like. So much better. And I, I, I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like for the virtual tabletops, like Fantasy Grounds, maps are key. Maps and sounds are huge for me. So I, I love this. This is much better now. You can see this looks much cooler with a skull in the middle. Now, they'd still make some perplexing choices, like if you open this room, a pair of well-concealed simple pit traps. Well, they're not so well-concealed, and yes, this is the player version. So I don't know why there's still a few weird decisions they've made like that in the player maps, but all in all, much, much better. Um, even kind of some foresty or, or some uh, roots that are coming down into this underground uh, cave pretty cool show you two others really quickly buried council chambers again original on the left the new one on the right so just so much better even when you zoom in really good level of detail you can see and it's kind of cool they've done a couple things like here there is a secret door but they've at least covered over it so if you're hiding the room from the players they won't see that part portion so that's cool one more sepulcher same thing. This one doesn't have as much detail, but even so, you can see that they've at least got some texture. They've got some, in this case, this is a room with bookcases. These are all, um, it's kind of like a chapel. So this is all seating, bench seating. And again, you just have to describe that. When I ran this one, you just describe that in this room, but there's no detail at all. So at least this has a fair amount of detail. So I, I'm sold. I'm really glad I bought this, even though I've duplicated and, and bought some you know, bought these adventures more than once. But you can look over here on the left to quite a few adventures at each level. Obviously, a lot of first level, second level. And I don't love all of the adventures I've purchased before, but I like enough of these to really make it useful for me. I really like Sepulchre of the Witching Hour Sage. That was a lot of fun. Usually the stories are good. It was just the maps that just, I, I, it just really, I couldn't get over those sometimes. Even as you get to 8th, ninth level, still quite a few. 10th, 12th, there's only a couple, but every level is represented, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, and these are, I guess, some, some other just maybe bonus adventures. So a lot of different volume. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, too, is if you go to the AAW website, and I'll try to remember to post this link, mdt.aawgames.com. You can find this mini dungeon tomb adventure assistant and you can actually search for adventures so if you don't want to use the uh just the module itself to look for adventures you can see we're on fifth edition there is a pathfinder version but let's say i want fifth level party of four and i want something in the forest 
and I'll leave the rest of these as they are. Search the tomb. Pretty cool. It gives you the name, a little summary of how many PCs this is for, what levels. If you hover over the map, it'll zoom in a bit so you can kind of get a feel for what the map will be like. A quick quote from the adventure and again, a little bit more detail. This is neat too. If you want to know what monsters you're going to face, all the encounters are listed here. So that's kind of cool. So you can see this one probably has two, maybe three encounters. These little links just show you if it has combat, which I would expect most of them would. It's 5e. Now down here, you can see this one does have traps. So this is kind of kind of cool. You can see the prepped encounters here. So you're going to face a water elemental for this one, green hag, hellhound, awakened shrub, and tree, and also a spiked pit. So it gives you a fair bit of detail on these. So anyway, just a nice additional little benefit. So so for me, again, I'm sold at 30 cents an adventure. I think I'm going to get a ton of value out of this. You can see there's a ton of different artists, editors, and uh, authors to this. So sorry for that pop-up. I uh, have to decide if I'm going to re-record this now. But anyway, <laughs> that's it for now all. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Haven't done this in a while. So thanks for bearing with me. And uh, if, I, if you like this, please thumbs up. If you don't, please thumbs down and let me know what, can I, what I can do better. And uh, until next time, I hope to see some of you on the Fantasy Grounds forums. Thanks all.